Hey guys, this is Dr. Kuro Fix. Welcome back to another edition. In today's very video edition here, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to test a simple map sensor using a multimeter. If you're coming to my channel for the first time, be sure to subscribe as I teach a lot of helpful DIY tips on how to fix your car by yourself to troubleshoot from troubleshooting to fixing the problem. So without wasting more time, let's get into the business of the day. Since I told you guys we're going to be using a multimeter, so this is the multimeter which I'm going to be using, which is cheap. I think I bought it around 30 bucks at uh, Amazon. It's called the Astro AI. It has served me for like uh, more than four years right now and it's kicking great. So without further ado, if you have your cheap multimeter, whichever one so long as you can be able to read the resistance correctly, then that is fine. Let's get into it. So the first thing which I want to teach you guys here on this very map sensor is depend on the car maker model, you can see it in a different configuration. But for this very one here, for most European model, Audi, Volkswagen, this is, this is their technical, uh, technically speaking, their map sensor. Now, if you take a look at this vividly, you might not notice that there is a difference. Let's flip it this way. There is a difference. You know the reason why? Because this one is put out of the turbo waste gate uh, circuit. And if we flip it this way, something is missing. There's supposed to be a resistor, a thermistor here, a negative coefficient thermistor here, which acts as the intake air temperature sensor. But because this is only for the waste gate, and if we pull the if we pull the connector off right now, we're gonna be seeing five pins here. Sorry, four pins. However, when we look at this very connector here, what we have is three pins because that is the corresponding pin we're gonna be testing. So note that very carefully. And if you take a look at it, the wire, the color coding or the number is gonna be we're gonna be testing one and three and one and four. What you're gonna be expecting on this very uh, map sensor here is between the reading one and three will be given a lesser resistance value than one and four. One and four, one and four should be, for a very good map sensor, should be able to be giving you like a five ohms from four, four, key, four K ohms up and above, right? Why this one can give you a little more less, but none of them should read OL. If you read OL, it means the sensor, the map sensor is defective. With that said, let's dive into it. So the first thing first here, let's on the multimeter. Now for this very one here, I also forgot to tell you guys, it can be very much more better if you can get something like this, which you can chop off from maybe a circuit like this or a female, uh, this thing, which a female socket, a female um, connector, which is this one here. The male one has a plunger to go into the female one. I hope you understand. So the reason that is because that is gonna quick locate this very pin here without having any major. So without wasting time, let me peel the cables and let's tie it to the probes. Remove this one. Keep this one aside okay here we go so there is not going to be polarity on this one here so no issues about polarity just roll the wire right here just like i did roll the second one and we are good to go so we can use this very two pin here so remember one and three and one and four and also check for one at uh, three and four two will be absolutely sure so we are live so what we have here is 5.5k ohms which is pretty good and is stable i'm gonna test between pin one and pin four we have it on pin one already so let's go to pin four and see what we're gonna get there okay almost just about pretty much the same 5.4.1 ohms. It seems like as if it's even the quite the opposite for this very one here. Let me take a look. reading again. Okay. Well, the one and three reads more, which is 5.5. So either way, one of them is lesser than the other. That is just the main uh, important note there. So we're gonna test pin four and pin three. And we're having just about the same reading between pin pin 3 and pin 1. So this proves that this very map sensor is healthy and working as it should. I hope you guys find this very helpful. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share with others, subscribe to my channel. If you have any further questions, drop it in the comment section. I remain Dr. Who Auto Fix. Bye for now. Journey with me again on the next episode where I'm going to be teaching you guys how to test a magnetic clutch. Clutch coil. Thank you. Bye for now.